Good morning, friends. My name is Varinder, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel, Cloud Ninja. Today, we'll be studying about introduction to the Amazon Web Services, uh, what basically AWS is, what are its features, and uh, why should we be using AWS, and uh, which are the organizations which are using AWS. Friends, ready to move forward. This is the introduction video, and uh, if you are an entrepreneur or uh, or a system administrator or a network administrator and you are planning to learn skills about cloud computing AWS, then uh, you know really try to understand through this video that what are its different features, why your organization should use AWS or you should move your infrastructure to AWS. And you can save your organization money and uh, you'll be able to use all the features and it will be beneficial for you if you are an entrepreneur or trying to build up your own infrastructure ready to save money and uh, use the scalability or different kind of features which AWS provides. So without wasting much time, let's move on to the first slide. So in first slide, uh, we should be studying why we should be using the AWS or uh, Amazon Web Services. The first or the main reason is it is one of the largest public cloud computing platform on, on the planet. Uh, there, are, there are other uh, cloud computing platforms, private cloud, uh, available onto the, you know, which are providing their services, but uh, yeah, Amazon is one of the largest. Google is there and uh, Salesforce is there, Microsoft, Azure is there. But the thing is, the kind of services Amazon is providing and the features it is providing, it is it is coming in the number one. Now. We'll see in the next video itself that how it is still coming in number one in the in the Gartner's report every year. The other thing is more and more organizations they are moving their IT infrastructure onto the Amazon due to its feature like scalability and the kind of features from simple to using a server to for using their infrastructure on Hadoop, analytics, where they do a research from analytics from more of simple entrepreneur who, you know, who need to build up a website or need a simple database. Most of the organizations, they are moving their infrastructure onto the AWS due to the kind of features it provides. Whether you are a new organization or a new user, you will be able to find all the user, useful information on the Amazon website. You know, one of the best things which I like about Amazon is, let's say you are a new user or an advanced user. Every kind of documentation from implementation point of view to understanding point of view, Amazon has provided all the things, all the documents so that you should not be facing any kind of difficulty while implementing AWS. I have used the uh, Microsoft Azure platform as well, uh, but uh, let me be very clear, uh, I'm not playing games uh, in Azure, but the thing is, a very little kind of documentation is, provi uh, is being provided by the Microsoft or is available by this new platform which is emerging. Microsoft is, might be working at the back end, but Amazon is, uh, Amazon has provided the documentation first and then it, uh, it really you know, advertise its features to the user so that they can understand and uh, how these different services work. The other thing is, uh, you know, the range of services provided by the Amazon. It's, you know, when you go and log into the Amazon console, you see that there is a service from building a server to to a service if you want to use the robotics or artificial intelligence. You have all the kind of services for the user to do or uh, you need to deploy a code onto the Amazon Web Services. So all kind of features you need in the service other than having the service. What are the different features? You know, features, the top one is uh, deployment speed. You know, why the uh, number of organizations are moving onto the AWS? If you are administrator, you know that in a typical organization, uh, you need to build a server. There is a long process for that. A provisioning time of, of a server or to get the server ready to use the services or for application require from 30 to 90 days. It depends on the organization. You know, first one has to, uh, you know, build that, okay, what kind of server is required, then it will go to, you know, three different organizations and your procurement department will work and your uh, data center department will get the server and 
फिर टेक योर ओन प्रोविजन टाइम दे विल पुट इन टू अ डिफरेंट ट्रैक डू अ बेसिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन देन प्रोवाइड द स्टोरेज सो इट विल टेक जनरली टेक अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एंड इट विल नॉट हेल्प द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू रियली स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग और स्टार्ट प्रोवाइडिंग द सर्विसेज फॉर व्हिच दे हैव ऑलरेडी स्पेंड और प्रोवाइड द अपकरण कॉस्ट बट लेट्स से यू आर मेकिंग अ स्पेंड अ कपल ऑफ डॉलर्स on this particular date and they'll be really able to use the services provided by that particular hardware after two months so it is really not paying uh, for their investment but in case of AWS it is just real quick you log in into the Amazon you build your uh, server and you know, deploy your application and start using the services so this is the reason you, you should have seen in India in many countries Number of entrepreneurs are emerging. This is due to the reason that they do not have to spend a lot of money on to the infrastructure to really uh, get the applications ready and provide the services to their customers. Yes, we are using the AWS services, and this is real quick. And from the first day onwards, we are able to provide the services to their customers. So deployment speed is really, I would say, around 20 to 30 years of uh, Amazon. The other thing is on the go pricing. Like we discussed in the previous case, organizations need to pay upfront costs, and let's say there's a server in organization, and uh, I'm just taking example of one server. You can imagine that uh, how many servers typical organizations have. In that case, uh, one server is not able to utilize extra resources uh, like maybe your CPU fully. So in that case, but you have paid for the you know for the whole resources for the number of times you will be using the server. But in case of AWS, you will be paying only for the resources you will be using. Security, like in uh, other organizations or in uh, typical vendors or in proof environment, we have different uh, you know, kind of permissioning and rules which we use to really control our resources. So similarly, AWS provides IAM identity access management or features like VPC within uh, you can really build your own uh, virtual private cloud or data center with which you can do the connectivity to your own data center and you know really provision the services without collecting it from the internet. The other thing is AWS trusted advisors. Uh, friends, there are a number of features, but I have tried to highlight uh, the main features. And uh, definitely, when we will move on to the next video, different sites in different videos, we'll be studying almost all the features. So stay tuned. So AWS trusted advisors features uh, are like there are a number of organizations like uh, you know research organizations, Ulai is there, uh, then Expedia is there. And always there. So what AWS does is AWS just uh, you know studies the kind of services or the infrastructure they are using in the backend, and they study their own report and prepare their own report that how you know they are best utilizing the AWS resources. So if you are in uh, this uh, AWS user, so AWS and you have subscribed this feature, AWS give you tips and give you ideas that how you can use the AWS cloud platform and You can enhance the security features. You can save the money, or different kind of ideas that the business will provide so that uh, you could really save money. So in case you are network administrator, you can use the AWS uh, Trusted Advisor feature and really provide ideas to your organizations to really save money, and uh, it will be good for you as well as your organization. Another thing is who are using the AWS. There are. And number of uh, organizations who are using AWS, you can go into the Amazon website and just uh, study the number of organizations and the case studies. So I've tried to, uh, you know, mention the names which uh, we all are mostly aware. So Netflix. So as we, you know, have seen that the kind of uh, movies or the volume of movies Netflix has, and uh, the kind of services it provides to the customers. So friends, just imagine that if Netflix has to has to you know prepare an infrastructure where it has to store such a huge volume of movies and uh, number of people worldwide would be using their services, the kind of infrastructure they have to prepare. So they are just using the Amazon, and they are really dependent on to the, the you know Amazon for the scaling of their services and the storage of volume which they are uh, which they have. 
which they have been using. So, you know, they are really satisfied the kind of services Amazon is providing and uh, that is, you know, we, we all know. So, there is one of the largest multimedia companies who uses the AWS to provide excellent special critical applications like Connect, Adobe CQ, Flash to its, uh, to its providers and uh, they are really saving money because otherwise Amazon was using their own infrastructure to to provide this scalability on to the you know to the applications which are being used by almost all the uh, organizations. So I have just moving on to the next slide. Just capture a image of the Amazon data center. So you know this is the image of inside image of uh, Amazon data center and Amazon is you know increasing the data center in almost all the regions we will be studying into the next slide which all different locations have Amazon data centers and uh, how they are providing services, how they are all connected to really provide the services to the customers. So thank you friends for watching this video and if you really like this video we would request you to please uh, click on like, uh, you know, do share this video with your friends and uh, if you really like our channel please subscribe to this Cloud uh, Media YouTube channel so that uh, you know you should be aware of that okay which are the next videos uh, stay tuned friends uh, see you soon in the next video thank you for watching thank you